All right, Algebra 2, Chapter 11, Section 3, Geometric Sequences. In this section, we're going to discuss and we're going to learn how to identify and generate geometric sequences. So we're going to learn about geometric sequences, the common ratio, and the geometric mean. So a geometric sequence is nothing more than a ratio between consecutive terms is constant. This ratio is called the common ratio, and unlike arithmetic sequence, the difference between consecutive terms varies. Is the given sequence geometric? If so, identify the common ratio. Well, the easiest way to do it is divide the second term by the first term, and you get 3. Divide the third term by the second term, you get 3. Divide the fourth term by the third term, and you get 3. So the answer is yes. And the geometric or the common ratio is 3. There is a common ratio of 3. This is a geometric sequence. That's what we just talked about. All right. So it looks at the formulas. The recursive formula, A1 equals a given value. AN equals AN minus 1 times R. So what this is saying is the current term is equal to the previous term times R. Well, in explicit form, AN equals A1 times R times N minus 1. All right, raised to the N minus 1 power. So AN equals A1 times R raised to the n minus 1 power. So let's look. Real world connection. Suppose you want to reduce a copy of a photograph. The actual length of the photograph is 10 inches. The smallest size the copier makes is 64% of the original. Find the length of the photograph after 5 reductions of 64%. So we could say a of n equals a1 times r n minus 1 power. So A six to find five reductions you need to find the sixth term. So A to six equals A one, which was ten inches, times point six four raised to the 6 minus 1 power. Okay, so we can get our handy dandy calculator out. And so we can say A to the 6, so 10 times 0.64 raised to the 6 minus 1 to the 5 power equals 1.07. So A to the 6 equals 1.07 inches. Okay. Find the 19th term of the sequence. So A1 equals 11. So if we divide these, we find R equals 3. So A to the 19th equals a1 times r to the n minus 1. So a to the 19th equals 11 times 3 to the n minus 1, so to the 18th power. Okay, we can just plug that in. So here we go. 11 times 3 to the 18th power. So 426162. So we get 462162. 5379. Okay. Does that make sense what we did? Find the 19th term of the sequence. Well, we found the ratio. 33 over 11 is 3, 99 over 33 is 3, so R, the ratio is 3, our first term was 11, and then we just stuck in explicit form. Alright, 
2b, find the 19th term of this sequence. All right. Well, what do you notice in this one? Well, this is not a geometric. This is a common difference. And the difference between the second term and the first term and the third term and the second term is negative 3. Our a1 value is 20. So now we're not going to use a geometric ratio. We're going to use the arithmetic ratio. So here we go in explicit form. So a n equals a1 plus d times n minus 1. So a to the 19th equals 20 plus negative 3 times 19 minus 1. Okay, so a to the 19th equals 20 minus whatever 3 times 18 is, 54. So a to the 19th is negative 34. Okay, does it make sense how we got all those values? We found the common difference. We know what the first term was, and we just stuck it in explicit form. Next example. The graph of arithmetic and geometric sequence have different shapes. Arithmetic graphs are linear. Geometric graphs are exponential. You can find the geometric mean between any two positive numbers by taking the positive square root of the product of the two numbers. So the geometric mean is nothing more than the square root of the product of n1 times n3. So when a child swings without being pushed, air resistance causes the length of the arc to swing to reduce geometrically. Find the missing arc length. So the first swing was 8, the second swing was 6 and an 8. So you multiply those together, you get 49, take the square root of it, 7. So the second swing of this example was 7. Okay, next example. Find the missing term of the geometric sequence. 20 something 80. So the geometric answer is this. The geometric mean is the square root of 20 times 80. So the geometric mean is going to be the square root of 1600, which is going to be 40. OK. Now let's just compare. The arithmetic mean is just we're going to average them. So you're going to take 20 plus 80 over 2, which would be 100 over 2, which would be 50. So make sure you know the difference between the geometric mean, you're taking the square root of the product, or the arithmetic mean, you're taking the average of the sum, or summing the summing number divided by 2. So find the missing term of the geometric sequence. So we can say it's whatever the square root of 3 times 18.75 is. That is the job for the handy dandy calculator. Second square root, 3 times 18.75. Enter. Answer would be 7.5. So the geometric mean would be 7.5. OK, easy enough. Find the missing term of this geometric sequence, 20 and 5103. So the geometric mean is going to be the square root of 20 times 5103. Job for the handy dandy calculator. Square root of 20 times 5103, close, bam, 319.47. There you go. That concludes the lesson. The homework is worksheet 11.3, 3 through 33, multiples of 3. Good luck.